Let's start that again. Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Kaz. And together... We are Crafty Caravanners. Today's video is part of the Vanners Collaboration series. This video is part of a playlist and we'd like to encourage you to watch all the other videos from all the other contributors in this month's playlist. This month's topic is the top three meals we like to cook in our caravan or motorhome. So what we tend to do is do a meal plan for the duration of our trip away and then we try to do as much prep of the meals as we can at home before we leave. This makes your caravan holiday much more enjoyable instead of spending your day chopping and peeling vegetables and generally preparing food. We, we like to be on holiday when we're on holiday. We like to bear in mind the cost of eating out. Our opinion is the cheaper that you can make your trip away, the more trips you can have away. Number one on the list is spaghetti bolognese. Nope, that's sausage casserole. Our recipe calls for a couple of cans of soup. We're doing this inside the house, but this can easily be done in a caravan oven. We're going to pop some sausages in the oven. 25 minutes in there should see these things done. Some extra ingredients to make the dish a little bit more interesting include barbecue sauce, some sweet corn, and some peas. There we go. Ready for the sausages. Bit of garlic bread as well. Those sausages are tanned enough. I'll put them in the soup, which is boiling away quite nicely. All done. Time to eat it now. Number two on the list is curry and rice. And who doesn't like a good curry in the caravan? Who doesn't like the nasty nifts in the caravan? Yep. This is why we prepare the curry at home. And the only thing that gets cooked in the caravan is the rice. The curry gets reheated on the kadak. If it's nice weather, and if it's not so nice weather, we will just cook it inside on the cooker top inside the caravan. Let's cook a curry. I'm going to prepare a chicken korma for use in the caravan. It consists of a few basic ingredients. The thing that really helps us out is this curry jar from Asda. You can get similar from other supermarkets. We need some rice, some turmeric, some raisins, even though that's a bit contentious, a little bit of milk, some salt, some chicken. You can substitute a vegetarian option for the chicken, but as far as I'm concerned, chicken is very, very close to being vegetable already. I'm now going to put the chicken in the pan. It's actually quite hot and it's best to let the oil warm up properly before putting the chicken in. There we are. There are those that like to stir the chicken up straight away as soon as it enters the pan. I prefer to let the chicken cook a little bit first. It also, if you leave it a bit longer, it helps to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pan as it's cooked thoroughly. Chicken's now looking good, in with the dry spices. The rice looks like it's going to boil over. It doesn't. It also doesn't need stirring at all. So I'd like to just put a splash of milk in the jar. Make sure the lid's on properly tight. Give it a shake, this gets the last little bits of flavor out of the jar. It turns down the heat of the curry a little bit. Even though I like it really hot, uh, Kaz doesn't. 
almost forgot, I'm going to put some extra raisins in. The bubbles are no longer visible. This rice is done. What I'm going to do is take it off. Done. Not one stir. It does taste a whole lot better than it looks. Promise. What is your favourite caravan or motorhome meal? Why not let us know in the comments below? Point your smartphone camera at this QR code. You'll be able to subscribe to our channel this way and view some other interesting features that we have. Meal number three. Who doesn't like fish and chips when they're away on their holidays? Fish and chips from the chip shop can be quite costly. So again, watching our pennies, we like to make fish and chips in the caravan. To prepare fish and chips in a caravan or motorhome, you're going to need a caravan or motorhome that actually has an oven. Here, we're going to take some basa fillets, some crinkle cut chips, and of course, a can of mushy peas and cook them in the caravan. You'll need to preheat the oven to get this thing done properly. There are the fish fillets laid out nicely on a baking tray and just behind them is a tray full of chips. We've also chosen to include mushy peas. It is difficult to tell what's happening inside the oven but with a handy torch you should be able to see that the fish and the chips are cooking properly. Those peas are warming through quite nicely. Almost finished. And there is the final product, fish, chips and mushy peas. So there we have three relatively simple meals that we enjoy whilst we're away in the caravan. We hope that you've enjoyed watching us make our meals. If you've got any ideas that you'd like to give us of different meals that you think are good to make in a caravan, then please do let us know in the comments. Down below. We've reached the end of our video, but we'd like to encourage you to watch the other videos in this month's playlist. There'll be a card at the very end of this video, which you simply click on and there will be the other videos. So we'll say thank you very much for watching today and goodbye. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you've not subscribed already and turn on the notification bell.